Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this video we're going to have a look at how to print this grid of numbers. So this grid of numbers as you can see is um, just the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all the way up to 10 and that row of numbers is repeated 10 times. So essentially this problem can be broken down into a situation where we have 10 rows and 10 columns and on each row of output the numbers from 1 to 10 are printed so essentially we have 10 columns so the way we're going to approach this problem is we're going to break it down and tackle uh, a chunk of the problem first and then we'll see how we can repeat that task to uh, solve the entire problem so the way we're going to do it is we're going to look at how to produce a single row of output. So look at any of the rows on the grid and you'll see that it's the same output repeated. So let's just focus on one of those rows and we'll print one row first and then we'll see how we can repeat that. So the way I'm going to approach printing the rows um, is just use a for loop to do it. So I'm going to have four int i equal to 1 and then I'm going to say i less than or equal to 10 because I want to print the numbers from 1 to 10 so i is going to start off at 1 as an initial value the guard on the loop is going to be i less than 10 and then to make progress I'm simply going to say i equals i plus 1 and in this loop what I'm going to do is just print out my loop counter variable because i is actually going to start at 1 and then it's going to be incremented to 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and so on and so on. So all I really need to do in this loop is print out my loop variable i and I'm going to also print out a space. So this effectively then is a loop really to print loop to print the numbers from 1 to 10. That's all it is. And if we run this little loop, this for loop, you will see that we get the numbers from 1 to 10 in my output here. But uh, I don't want to just print one row, I want to print 10 rows. I want to repeat that 10 times. So I've already got the task that I want to achieve done here. So I want to repeat that 10 times. Well, all I've got to do actually is just wrap this piece of code, this block of code, in another loop. So I'm going to actually wrap my outer loop around this code. So I'm going to write another loop here and I'm going to use a different loop counter variable here at this time called j and j is going to equal 1 because how many rows do I want to print? Well I want to print 10 rows. I want to repeat that output 10 times. So j is going to start at 1 and j also is going to be less than or equal to 10 and I also want to just increment j Oops, so j is going to be equal to j plus 1 okay uh, so this loop now actually becomes my inner loop so I'm going to indent that in that's very important so I can see straight away at a glance I can see that this loop is actually a nested loop and of course I need to have a bracket to finish off that outer loop so indentation is very important and you can see that quite clearly that bracket belongs to that outer loop and when we look at our inner loop here you can see that that bracket belongs to that inner loop so now this piece of code that I originally wrote effectively becomes the inner loop and that is going to print the columns of which there are 10 and then this second loop that I wrote is actually the outer loop because I wrapped it around the piece of code that I wanted to repeat so this is the um, outer loop and uh, that obviously controls the rows again of which there are 10 okay so now I've got my output my row of output repeated 10 times so let's run this and see what it uh, outputs. Okay, so not quite there yet because as you can see in my output, I'm getting the numbers from one to 10, but then they're repeated again on the same line 
over and over and over 10 times so what do i need to do well i just need to tidy up the output i need to control my uh, new lines and in order to do that i will need to put in a system dot out dot print ln after that inner loop so when this inner loop has finished printing the numbers from 1 to 10 and then going to say system dot out dot print ln and i don't need to print a message or anything here i just need to print a new line so when it's finished printing a single row so this inner loop prints a single row when it finishes that it's going to print a new line and that will make my grid pattern appear so if i run this we will hopefully get our grid pattern which we do so the inner loop is printing a row and then we repeat that 10 times to get the effect to get the grid pattern okay so again you can see that we just approach that problem a little bit differently we looked at um, well how do we produce one of the rows and then we wrapped that in a loop to just repeat that 10 times so that's another little example of uh, a loop within a loop so if you thought this video was useful please hit the like button or subscribe to the channel for more java tutorials and if you have any feedback please leave uh, some comments below and thanks again for watching this video.